we believe that we send all of our water to California or that casinos and resorts use an outsized portion of our water resources? Well, we are here today to talk to you about several myths related to water use in Southern Nevada. We want to set the record straight and give you the facts. It's time to tap the truth. Hi, I'm Colby Pellegrino, Deputy General Manager of Resources for the Southern Nevada Water Authority. And our topic for this edition of Tap the Truth is, why are we continuing to build more homes in the valley? That's a great question and a pretty complicated answer. So I'm gonna answer it in a few different angles. The first of which is, we are not a land use planning agency. We're here to plan the water resources for the community that our member agencies um, want to grow and build. We have changed the way the community has grown throughout time. If you look back, for example, in the early 2000s, you were allowed to have grass anywhere in your home. And as we sit here today, you're only allowed to have grass in 50% of your backyard. We will continue to work with our member agencies and tell them what our water conservation has to look like in order to continue to grow. But the reality as we sit here today is anyone that moved here after about the year 2000 is only here using water that's available as the result of conservation. And we're going to have to continue to do more to conserve, if for no other reason than the current drought we're experiencing on the Colorado River. So there is certainly a crosswalk between how we develop and the water resource implications that that has. But as far as the strict issuing of building permits, that's our member agency's decisions. And that's how we tap the truth. For more information about the most popular water myths in the valley and the real truth about them, find us on YouTube by searching Southern Nevada Water Authority.